Well, in the past decade, more than a half a dozen new sunscreen ingredients have been submitted to the FDA, but they haven't been approved. And that has some cancer advocates and doctors outraged, saying that Americans should have access to better sunscreens. CBS 6 fact finder Tori Wells asked the FDA why those approvals haven't happened and learned how some lawmakers are trying to speed up the process. There's a simple joy in meeting someone for coffee. A simple joy Patty Marola didn't always count on. I was diagnosed with my first cancer on my 46th birthday. First, it was breast cancer, then bad cells in her uterine lining. Recovering from that surgery, she was diagnosed with melanoma. Well, it doesn't ever leave your mind. Um, you know, I have a body that's cut up, um, and you look in the mirror and it's a constant reminder. Today, Marola is cancer free and taking precautions to stay that way. I, I use sunscreen every day every day, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Would you love it if there was a sunscreen out there that could protect you more? Absolutely. I want to be afforded every possible opportunity to keep myself healthy. That's why some are making noise, saying the FDA is taking too long to approve new sunscreen ingredients. In 2002, the agency created a new approval process. Since then, eight ingredients have been submitted for review under that process, but none have been approved. It is something that is very important and it is the job of government. Now, who else can do this? And it takes too long and a lot of people believe that the process is broken and it needs to be fixed. Michael Burgess is with the American Cancer Society. He says some of those ingredients are already being used in other countries. It's reasonable to expect that there would be some kind of action or they could just deny it if they don't think it's safe. The American Cancer Society, dermatologists, sunscreen ingredient companies and health organizations are working with the FDA and Congress on a solution. Some lawmakers are taking action. This bill has been introduced at the federal level to change the process for approving these sunscreen ingredients. Now, the goal is to get new or pending ingredients reviewed faster and if they're safe to get them on the shelves. Right now, that bill is in committee. I followed up with the FDA and asked how approvals are coming along now. I learned the FDA recently issued feedback letters about two ingredients. Both ask for more data to prove they're, quote, generally recognized as safe and effective. A spokesperson told me there will be responses for the other applications soon and that the FDA has prioritized reviewing the safety and effectiveness of additional sunscreen ingredients as quickly as possible given the agency's resources. Even the very best sunscreen does wear off. The main thing is to limit your exposure as much as possible just altogether. Dr. Howard Schlossberg treats patients with skin cancer. He says sun protection is important. The more options, the better. But, he says, even if the process is changed, approvals could still take time. It takes time to really determine is something really safe. Some bad side effects and problems won't show up for years. Marola agrees that the safety of sunscreen is important. Right now, she says her biggest defense is limiting her sun exposure while still living an active lifestyle. It's one life, live it. Here I am, strong survivor. Tori Wells, CBS 6 News. And the FDA also told us that sunscreen is treated as a drug in the United States so that the standards are high. In other countries like Europe, it's considered a cosmetic product. Tori did find that one of the pending ingredients was approved for use in a few L'Oreal sunscreens. You can get more information on that by heading to our website.